Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is a continuation of the video from the last week when I was talking about procedures for removing excess green. This reduction of green color can be done in GIMP, but it can also be used, the same process can be also used for removing purple fringes around stars to remove the effect of chromatic aberration. It is important for people who use refractors and also lenses for cameras, for DSLRs, photographic lenses. So here is a small fragment of my photography of double cluster taken with an acromat. As you can see, there are really pronounced, really visible purple fringes around stars, even though this photograph was made at f10, but still the chromatic aberration is still visible. And if I uh, click the keyboard to switch to the next slide, you can see that the purple fringes are completely removed. The stars have slightly bluish color instead of having these purple fringes. So just a quick reminder, how does it work? Both these procedures, Hasta la Vista Green or ASCNR, how they work in the version maximum neutral. If we have a pixel with the greenish cast with too much green, let's assume the values for color channels are 150 for red, 200 for green and 100 for blue. So what these procedures are doing is in the first step, in the first stage, the values of red and blue channels are compared and the higher value is stored. So in our example, 150 and 100 for blue. So 150 is bigger, it is stored, the value of 150. And in the next step, the value of green channel is compared to the stored value. If the green value is higher, then it is reduced to this stored value. So we, in our example, the green becomes darker. It becomes from the value from 200 is reduced to 150, which results in an image without the excess green. So if you let me switch to GIMP, this is the fragment of double cluster. We can see the purple fringes. I will do it. I'll, I will deal with them in a minute. But first, as a reminder, uh, let's reduce the green because as you can see, the centers of stars are green and also there are green spots on the background in the background. So what to do to reduce green? Click right mouse button, choose colors, components, decompose, decompose to RGB. And then we hide the green layer. We set the blending mode of the red layer to lighten only. We press mouse, uh, right mouse button, click new from visible. I change the blending mode of the red to normal again. Then I move green on top. I turn, I unhide the green layer and set the blending mode of the green layer to darken only. Right mouse button again, new from visible. I usually call this new layer new green. And now I can remove the green, the original green layer, the uh, visible layer, red, new, green, okay. Colors, colors, components, compose again. Red, new, green, okay. All right, so this is the image without green. Now let's, with reduced green, not without green, but with reduced green color. Let's copy and paste it over the original layer 
edit paste as new layer. Oh, and now we can see that the green color is reduced, but to keep the original brightness of all pixels, let's move the original layer on top. Let's set the blending mode to luminance. And now if I choose new from visible, then I have the new layer without the excess green, but with the brightnesses of pixels, with the brightness of pixels the same as in the original image with the excess green. So if I switch back and forth between the old layer, this is the one with excess green, and this is the one, the new one without the excess green. Okay, so this was the first stage. And now going back for a moment to our presentation. So we know already how to reduce green, but if we look, if we look at the RGB color wheel, then it turns out that the magenta, the color of purple fringes, here is, here is magenta. It turns out that the magenta in the RGB color wheel is exactly opposite to the green. What it means is that if we invert the colors of the image, if we make a color negative, then the magenta fringes will become green, will become green. And we already know how to remove too much green. So let me switch back to GIMP. So now what I can do is right mouse button, colors, invert. And as you can see, the purple fringes became green fringes. So now let's do the exact, let's uh, repeat the process. So colors, components, decompose, decompose to layers. Okay, we have three layers, but first let me delete the old ones. Oh. And now we repeat the process. So let's, let's set the blending mode of the red uh, layer to light and only. Let's choose new from visible. Let's switch back to normal. Now I move the green layer on top. I activate it, I set the blending mode to darken only, new from visible, new green, let's put red on top again, okay, right mouse button, colors, components, compose, Red, new green and blue, okay. And when we invert the colors again, we are getting the image without purple fringes. So now if I edit and copy this image and paste it, aha, no, let me let me invert colors of this original image again. Oh. All right, if I paste this copied layer here, you can see that the purple fringes are gone, but what I want to do is to keep the original, original luminance. So I move this layer on top, I activate the lower one, and I set the, the blending mode of the original layer to luminance again. Then I click new from visible. I can move this one down again. And now I have a layer which has original brightness, the same as it was in the original image, but without purple fringes and also without the excess green. If we compare the new corrected image with the original one, 
you can see that the purple fringes present in the original image are now completely gone and also the excess green in the center in centers of stars and in the background so there you have it a very simple method for removing the effect of chromatic aberration it's not necessary to use Lightroom, it's not necessary to use any sophisticated fancy software filters, it's just enough to use two simple blending modes of layers in GIMP. And this is what I wanted to show you. I showed this method before in my previous videos because I'm using this method all the time, but I decided to show only this method in a shorter video just to make it just to make this method more available for people who want to reduce the effect of chromatic aberration all right so this is it for now thanks for watching and see you next time